Stan Jibalesco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations. In the past few days, I've received several theoretical antenna questions, and I've done my best to answer them, although sometimes the only way to really answer such a question is to tell the viewer to build the antenna, put it on the air, test it, and see if it works. That's the only real way in the end that an antenna is either going to prove successful or not. You have to build it, put it up, and test it. And the best way to test it that I know of is in a contest or a pileup. Can you break a pileup? Can you hold a frequency in a contest with reasonable output power, say 100 watts? If you can, it's probably a pretty good antenna. If you can't, maybe it, maybe it needs to go back to the drawing board. But there's only so much time you can spend on the drawing board before you have to throw the pencil and paper away or the computer simulation program or the test equipment, you have to set it aside, connect the doggone thing, and try it out on the air. After all, the worst thing that can happen to you is that it'll blow up in your face and fry you to death. But that's not likely. It's more likely to either work well or not. And it takes several tests over a period of several days, maybe even weeks, to learn in the end whether an antenna design works. I've had experiences where antennas in theory should not work at all and they worked wonderfully. I've also had experiences where the theoretical design particulars were perfect and the antenna was rotten in performance. So it's uh, like the last video, time and chance will happen to you all. 73 and so long, which in my native fist on any antenna will always translate to da-da-da-da-da-da.